Alex, second year in the academy. Did you enjoy your debut season in the club last year? Yeah, definitely. Um, no one thought that we would go on and win. Win at the Allianz Park in the final, let alone get to where we were. Um, Pre-season was a good time, tough, but nice um, experience. And I think the second year has really gelled well with the first years. Um, and that's what led us really to get to where we were. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience and yeah, hopefully we can do that this year around. <laughs> Go for a second yeah. one. Personally though, for you as, 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 uh, as a player, did you enjoy the whole experience being in the professional setup of Leicester? Oh yeah. Um, I just think it's a great opportunity. You know, when um, growing up, seeing your mates getting to DPP or when you watch on the telly and you're like, oh wow. And you know, with Leicester being such a big club, and you know, you walk, you walk into Travel Park, and you're seeing first-team players walking around, and um, yeah, it's just unbelievable. What drives you? You know, what what inspires you each day to keep going? Is it seeing those guys around the field? Is it wearing the badge, or, or is there anything else for you individually? Um, for me, it was more um, my upbringing. Um, my dad was a big influence on me. Um, he was the one that got me to pick the ball up. Um, and I just think uh, with um, my personal upbringing, it just keeps me going, keeps me driving. Um, so yeah, that's my... Yep. You talk about your dad. He obviously is born and raised in Scotland, which yeah. saw you last year represent Scotland under 18s. How was yeah. that experience for you? Oh, unbelievable. Um, I never thought that I'd go on to play for the academy in games and then to be picked up by Scotland I was just if if you was to tell me that at the beginning of the season I wouldn't have believed it um, but yeah I'm just really pleased that they picked me and I got the opportunity to put on the badge um, but yeah and you got to play up against your Leicester teammate George Barton yeah. he was avoiding you on the field apparently he didn't want you to tackle him how was that anyway for you having had a whole season with him day in day um, out and then you come up against him in an international yeah, um, yeah it was it, it was good. It was. It didn't really um, bother me. Um, we we ran out side by side actually in the tunnel and then um, sort of packed each other in the back and then yeah, it was put our differences aside and like uh, being mates, put that aside and then after the game we were fine taking pictures. So um, yeah, it was good to play against someone that I knew. Um, but yeah, to play out at. Murrayfield is a one-off opportunity and to do it with people that like George is just a memory. Something you'll never forget, I'm sure your dad will never forget either. Oh, yeah. Finally mate, second season now, you're a senior player in the academy. Yeah. What, what's your thinking going into this year? What's your message to the new guys? How are you feeling? Um, I feel positive. Um, we've, we've on our week three now of pre-season um, and I just feel you know, the first years are gelling well with us and we're trying to make it as easy as possible for them, like we, like the second year did for us. Um, and I just feel confident that if we keep on doing what we're doing and stick to the process, then we'll hopefully get back out on the pitch and win it. Um, but yeah, it, we, we don't strive to win things. Um, but last year, you, we, we set our standards really, really high and you can tell that this year, that's, that's the minimum standard. Um, so yeah, we're just enjoying it and we'll hopefully see where we get to this year. For more videos and interviews, keep watching LTTV.